Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a continuation of my liquid lipstick review series. It seems like it has been forever since I have done one. And today is the highly requested brand, the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. Uh, I think it was a couple months ago back now, I had posted a comparison of the ingredients against MAC and uh, Smashbox, which I'll get into on my second check-in. You guys may be aware of um, what I found in the formula, but um, I have not tried these on or anything. I just swatched this on my hand. This is right up my color alley. It's like uh, orange red, which I love those. And it's in the color Thrill Seeker. I don't even know if I remember my spiel. It's been so long since I've done one of these. As always, guys, I have exfoliated my lips prior to doing my makeup. Today, I used my Sarah Hap lip scrub. I went on and squeezed out the very last drop of my Kaplan MD lip balm, and now I'm just going to wipe off. So when I swatch this on the back of my hand, the lip liner that matches it the best is Max Ruby Woo. A part of my new protocol, I need to remember that I'm going to line half my lips with lip liner, half without, so you can see if that affects transfer. So as always, I will zoom in for application. Um, first, these have a very faint cake batter smell. They smell exactly like the MAC ones. Uh, they smell kind of like the Stila Stay All Day as well. Now I'm just going to apply this. Since the formula is very similar to the MAC, which again, I will cover, I remember from that that you have to put on a very thin coat of it or it will get weird. So I'm just gonna kind of scrape off the excess on the side of this. So it went on pretty nice. It's, it's a little streaky in areas. I'll try to touch it up in layer. So you guys know the drill as well as I do at this point. I'm going to give this a total of eight hours worth of untouched wear. I will not retouch this. I will not apply a gloss. I will go about my day. I'll do my first check-in in four hours and then I will do the last check-in in the additional four hours. At the end of this video, I will do the kiss test to show if they are transfer proof. I will also show if they layer well, if they've worn away in any certain areas. In my first check-in, I always give you guys all the details, shipping costs, color selection, all of that stuff. It's currently 2.20. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, it's seven o'clock. I'm a little past uh, the first check-in time. I had to run to Best Buy and return some headphones that I got for Keegan for his birthday that he didn't like and pick up a few GoPro accessories. We ate lunch while we were gone. As always, I will zoom in to show you the wear. Um, these have remained, I mean, decently comfortable. They're a little on the dry side. It's making me want to lick the corners of my lips and a little bit on the inside there. Most liquid lipsticks are obviously drying. Um, that's why they don't transfer. But I will say I feel like these have kind of settled more so into the cracks of my lips than most liquid lipsticks. I don't think it's the most flattering. They're kind of doing that puckered butthole look that I'm not a huge fan of. I did have, of course, um, an iced chai tea today. I drank that out of a straw. I did not notice it to be on my straw. And then when we were just running errands um, from Panera Bread, I had a Greek salad. So I just ate off a fork and I also had an iced tea out of a straw. It has worn away in this middle piece here. It's gotten a little patchy on the side there. You guys can see right in the corner over there and then right in the middle. See what I mean, like in these little lines? So now onto the details on these. Obviously these are made by Smashbox. You guys can find these at Sephora, at Ulta, and even on Smashbox's site. The cost for these is $24, and I don't have any shipping information um, because I bought it on Sephora, so I actually get everything in two days. So if you buy directly from the Smashbox site, it might be different. It does say on the Smashbox site that they only ship to the US and Canada. Anywhere in the US for any purchase is free shipping, and Canada varies, so I will link that below so you guys can see. They don't offer international shipping currently, but um, I'm sure that you guys probably have stores over overseas that sell this. I think so anyway. On the Smashbox site, they only take a credit card. They don't accept PayPal. And I do not see any discount codes currently. The packaging is just this cute little square tube. I like this because it's not very like 
bulky or weird to store. It came in this little box. Um, I believe these colors all match up with the color in the tube. I I don't think I've seen other ones, but I'm pretty sure that they match up. The applicator on this is kind of like a little bent and it's like a pointy doe foot. You're made in Italy and you're getting 0.13 fluid ounces of product. I don't see anywhere with the little jar with the open symbol anywhere on here nor their website to let you know what the shelf life is. Liquid lipsticks typically range anywhere from six months to 18. They have 20 shades to choose from and I'll show a picture right here of just a screen capture. It ranges anywhere from nudes to browns, purples, and they have some like orangey colors and some reds. They don't have anything like too funky, like you're not gonna find like a neon blue, but they actually do have a gray. These are not vegan, nor are they cruelty free. I'm gonna read you the brand claims are that these are an eight hour wear, they're featherweight and comfortable. Um, I'll let you know about the eight hour wear. These have remained comfortable. They are very light. They don't feel like crusty and kind of like that velvet feel. If you know some of the ones I've tried feel like liquid suede or velvet on my lips. Now onto the ingredients. Uh, back on June 29th, I'll link the post below if you wanna go back and check it out. I had put up a picture where I compared the Smashbox liquid lipsticks with the max. Um, the reason I did that is because Estee Lauder is the parent company of both of these brands. And when I got my MAC water weight foundation and the Smashbox BB water with the exact same formulation, um, the exact amount of product you got, the bottles were slightly different. The only difference is MAC had a larger color selection than the Smashbox, except the Smashbox was more. Which was weird because in my mind, I would think of MAC as a more premium brand, the Smashbox, but again, it's, it's all marketing. The reason I believe Smashbox to be more than MAC is because MAC is sold only in their their own stores and like you can have a makeup counter or something in a department store but I think that that's why these go for one price versus somewhere like Smashbox when you're being sold inside of Ulta and Sephora they need that's another person that needs to make money off the brand so Sephora wants to make margins on it and then you need to make margins as well so I believe that's why the price is slightly more there are some emollients and lip conditioners in here um, pigments oils there's nothing in here that would cause me any cause for concern for putting it on my lips neither one of these ingredients is listed on their website which I really don't like that at all um, I believe they don't do that so it's not as easy if you search the ingredients that you'd come up with either one that's just my personal feeling on why they do that. Uh, the ingredients are only listed on the side of the boxes. The first 11 ingredients in both of these is exactly the same in the same exact order. After that 11th ingredient, they share eight more of the same exact ingredients just in a different order. So as we've discussed previously, for the formulas to be identical, they need to be the same ingredient and the same order because the levels vary. Ingredient list needs to list the ingredients from its highest concentration to its least concentration. The major difference in both of these is that the conditioning agents are different. The MAC uses avocado oil, Mashbox uses sunflower, jojoba, and apricot oil in theirs. Given these share, the bulk of their ingredients are the same exact, in the same exact order. These are going to wear extremely, extremely similar to one another. A major difference being that they have different lip conditioners in there. Smashbox has slightly more, so that will make the Smashbox a little more hydrating. And since it's so low down in the ingredient list, it's not going to play a huge difference. Just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Chances are, if you absolutely hated the MAC ones, you're likely going to dislike the Smashbox ones and vice versa. If you really like the MAC ones, you're likely going to like the Smashbox ones. And the difference between these two is the MAC one is $20 for 1.7 ounces of product. And then the Smashbox is $24 for 1.3 ounces of product. So you're getting less with the Smashbox, but you're paying more. I went on the MAC site to see if I see a color that looks like this on their color swatches. It looks like quite the standout could be um, a dupe for this, but again, I don't have it, so I, I can't say. Either that or the Red Jade or the Bengali Tiger. So that's all I pretty much have to say about these guys. I will see you in another four hours. Hey guys, it's currently 1028. Uh, eight hours after initial application of this liquid lipstick. As always, I will zoom in to show you the wear. This has remained fairly comfortable to wear. Um, it is a little 
drying. Not very much though. Again, most liquid lipsticks are drying. Don't mind my hair and if I have any dog hair on me um, or laying on the couch watching some movies. So I did eat, since my last check-in, I did eat some nachos. I broke them up and just kind of put them in my mouth. It is really worn away on this inside piece and started to kind of like flake and it's really settled more so into these fine lines on the side here of my lips. If you can see right here, so as always, how these rank will be determined by the kiss test and how well they layer. So nothing on the back of my hand. If you see right here, we have transfer all the way around. Um, it's on both sides. This side is the side I lined. So that would be this side. We actually got less transfer on the side that I lined compared to the other. Okay, I'll give this a shake. And let's see how it layers on those areas on the inside there that have worn away. Ooh, that's not good. These layer terrible. So on the top, it went on um, okay. You can see chunks coming off, but this bottom area where the texture was, it looks terrible. And now that it's like instantly drying, it feels like really tight too. You can see those chunks in there. So I have my list printed out. These are very similar to the MAC Retro Mats for me. Like when you saw it up close, I don't like how they're settling into my lines. Um, now where I've layered it over that middle part, it just looks terrible. I'm gonna rank these at the new number 20 and bump everything Beauty Bar Baby and down. The reason for that is because I find the MAC and the Smashbox very similar. I will say I find the Smashbox slightly more hydrating on my lips where these were a lot more dry. This did go on a little streaky and I had some lighter patches in there. Um, you get the same color selection from the two um, numbers wise, but this you are getting less product for more money than the MAC ones. Um, so still these are kind of neck and neck. I know a lot of people, um, again guys, this is just my opinion. I know a lot of you guys have really liked these and I know you guys have said that you've seen a lot of videos saying that how much people love the Smashbox ones, but the same people that said they dislike the Mac ones. I know Smashbox sent out PR kits to people with all of the liquid lipsticks in there. Also, um, you can get an affiliate program through Smashbox that you can't get through Mac unless you go through like a Nordstrom's or something like that. So I always keep those things in the back of my mind. And I don't, I'm not saying anybody's lying. I'm just saying maybe you're a little more forgiving of certain issues than you would be on a brand that you have nothing to gain from. Uh, given how this wore, well, I absolutely adore this color. I won't be buying any more of these because I have so many other brands that rank higher than this that I don't have any of these issues. I don't have the butthole lips. I don't have all this transfer. I don't get the crumbliness and kind of like, it literally looks like I have the Crypt Keeper lips right now, so. If you guys found this review helpful, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.